Dear children, now we will recall about similar figures. You can see here some objects and animals of similar figure. Here you can see two animals looks like similar. But the sizes of them are different. Here this boat and its image in the water. Everywhere. So these are called similar figures. Here you can see similar triangles. But it's very clear the size of these two triangles are different. Here the people and their images in the mirror are called similar. But here the size or you can say the height of these people and the height in the mirror is same. So it is clear that if the animals or the objects look similar, they may have their sizes same or the sizes may be different. So this type of figures are called similar figures. Now we'll see about congruence of segments. Here you can see two segments, segment AB and segment CD. The length of segment AB is 10 and the length of segment CD is also 10. That means these two segments are equal in length. So if two segments are equal in length, they are called congruent segments. The congruency of these segments is shown with these ticks. So these two ticks on each segment indicates that they are congruent. Mathematically, the congruency between these two segments is shown like this. Length PQ is congruent with length XY. So this is the symbol of congruency. Now we will see congruence of angles. You can see in this figure two angles are having the measure 60 degree each. Here angle ABC is of 90 degree and is bisected by this ray. And two angles are formed which are of 45 degree each. That means the major of these two angles are equal. Therefore, they are called congruent angles. Here you can see angle AOB is of 60 degree. Angle POQ is of 60 degree. That means their measures are equal. So, they are called congruent angles. Here you can see angle ABC is congruent to angle XYZ and mathematically it is written with the symbol like this. Angle ABC congruent to angle XYZ.